Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today it is time for the seven month update on the four products you see on the test panel here. So yes, we applied them seven months ago now, surprisingly, time has really flown by. Um, and it's actually been a little bit over, probably seven months and a week, maybe I've missed a week here or there. But yeah, we polished, we applied the four products into the sections. It's sat outside the entire time. So it's actually really hot here in Australia at the moment. We had some, you know, quite hot days with this just baking in the sun. Actually, when I carried this inside, it like near burnt my hands. It was so hot. Um, so it's, the products have really copped a good range of weather. We had some rainy weeks. We've had some really hot days and yeah, it's actually quite dirty at the moment. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. Um, but yeah, very, very dirty sitting outside. So let's go over the four products we have. So I'll turn that light back off so it's not blowing everything out. So this section here, we have the Meguiar's hybrid paint coating. It's actually the letters, the writing started to even rub off. It's been so long. So yeah, claimed one year protection or one year plus, as you can see there. So it's getting a good test out. So we'll move that out of the way. Next up, we have CarPro's C Quartz Light. Claim of six plus months durability. Um, we are already past the six months and another check on how the product is looking. Like I'm sure you can see that. There is the clear line where the product is applied. It is darker. So still hanging in there, still looking really good. So yeah, impressed by that. Um, then we have Gion's Cancoat Evo. Another one claiming the one year durability and been very impressed with it so far. The only one that's really noticeable that is on there is the CarPro. Um, and then last up we have Soft 99 Fuso Coat. Is it Fuso Coat? Yeah, Soft 99 is a brand. Fuso coat is the product. So like a paste sealant, this one. Um, claimed one year's protection and a lot of people rave about this stuff, especially for the price. So that is the four products. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to rinse down, give it a wash and see how they're all looking. May even do a slickness test again at this point at seven months to see if anything is still slick at all. So yeah, with that said, let's get right into rinsing this one off. Okay, so Let's see if there's been any changes from last month. Instantly looking like there is some significant changes going on. But as we know, a layer of dirt and gunk can sit on top and cause things to look different how they will after we actually wash. But yeah, I'm surprised by that car pro. Yeah, that's um, holding onto the water a bit. So. We'll give this a wash now. Got our CarPro reset, as always. I left this bucket sitting, so I may just put a little bit more water and make it a bit bubblier. Get another scoop of that. I know suds don't really mean cleaning power, but just I like to see some suds while I'm washing. So grab the hose, which I threw all the way over here. Go back to a shower setting and we'll rinse these down. What I want to do is get a very, very thorough rinse, get all the CarPro reset off. Okay, so there you go, the, the CarPro um, Sequartz light section, which looked like it was holding on the water. Maybe that section was just really dirty and needed a wash. As you can see now, it's looking good again. But I just really want to make sure we've got them all rinsed off before we come in nice and close with the other camera and check how they're doing after seven months and a wash. Okay guys, flick over to the other camera now and we're gonna see how these are looking so we want to try and flood each section. 
So the Maguire's has definitely taken a bit of a hit. We're almost able to completely flood it, but it does then run the water off pretty quick. I still don't have a tripod. I broke my tripod if you didn't see the other videos. I broke my tripod when I was doing another video and I haven't upgraded. So I'm actually just sitting the camera on top of uh, a bucket of stool. So not the great setup, but let's try and be careful so I don't drop the camera altogether. So now the CarPro C Quartz light. Hopefully you can see that section. Um, we are still far too hydrophobic to flood that section. You can actually see in shot there the Maguire's the difference as the water all runs over there how much more the water is sticking so we've got a failure point on the Maguire's up the top but the CarPro still looking really really good now I'm going to carefully again move my camera stool tripod setup over so that you guys can see the Geon cam coat Still super hydrophobic. So basically, two great products there from the CarPro and the Geon. No real obvious change in my mind. And we will come across one more time and back a little bit to have a look at the Soft 99. So the Soft 99, we're so close to being able to flood that, but it's just hanging on. And as someone has pointed out in the comments, it's um, hard to get even coverage. So that's this failing section here that we're seeing, is what they're saying, that it is a common thing. We'll have little sections that aren't as good as others. I mean, some sections of this are still looking great, but yeah. We definitely can see a difference from when we first started the test. So I move over to the middle now. We'll zoom out a little bit and let's go over all of them so you guys can see the differences. And I did get complaints previous series where I had products going right out to the very edges where you can see I've left them this time and it's just, and then I have a good product here and people would say don't use the edge. As you can see I haven't used the edge but still the two corner products of course are the ones that fail. I probably, well I mean I thought CarPro was going to be the first to go because it says six months, the rest claim a year but so I purposely didn't put CarPro, actually I didn't really put any thought into where they all went but what I should have done is put what I thought would be the two longer lasting products on the edges because everyone seems to think the edge of this panel is what's causing issues. I have tested it. I put one product on there. It was fine. Um, I've had products that were, which won the whole test sit on the edge. So it's nothing to do with the locations of these, I don't think. Um, it's just these are the products and how they're looking. So what I'm going to do now is going to dry this off. Actually to do that, what a lot of people like me to do is to lift up and see how it's looking. So I'm just going to miss a little bit of water over there. And we'll try and lift this up. And it really works better when it's larger droplets of water. But there we go. A lot of people ask me to do that each time to see how the, how the water comes off at an angle. I think the most water was on the two here and the most water ran off them. But yeah. What we're going to do now is dry this off and then we're going to do a bit of a mist test. Alright guys, we have it all dried off. We're going to go over with the hose in the mist function. Try and get some nice beads going so we can directly compare. So that should be perfect amount there. And then we're going to swap over to the other camera. While I just push this other one out of the way. Being a little bit careful so I don't knock it over. All right, so coming in to the Maguire's, the beads aren't looking as good as they were. You can see, turn this light off. It's definitely easier to tell. So you can see some odd, 
some odd shaped beads going on here. Still very hydrophobic, still beating up, but they're not those perfect round beads from the start. So there we go, that's the Meguiars. As for the Carpro, you can see here, coming in nice and close, beads are still looking perfect and nice and round. If you compare them coming back over to the Meguiars, you can see they're sort of like uneven, not perfectly round beads. So that is the difference between those two, but both still looking great really, but yeah, a clear difference. As for the Geon, I don't know why I'm showing the, the writing, they're basically all fading off now, but the Geon also looking great. I don't know what the best way it is to show you guys this, whether moving or just standing still, super close or further away, but yeah, the Geon looking great. Now the soft 99, we can see this section here that the water was sticking when we're rinsing and yes, in that section, we don't have good beads at all. Over here though, where the product's looking good, the beads are looking great. So that's kind of obvious, goes without saying, um, but yeah, what we'll do now is my favorite part, the most obvious telling part of how the products are looking is bringing the mist, like the hose in, and missing nice and close and going over them. So we want to see, a perfect example here on the Soft 99, if the water starts to stick as it hits or if it instantly runs off. So sticking here in this corner that was failing, but over here runs off nicely and it is super hydrophobic. So this one would be looking great if it just wasn't for this section here, this line of product, like a, a failure here. Otherwise, stuff's looking really good. Uh, the Geon, just absolutely crazy how hydrophobic this is. You can see as we hold the water, as it hits it, it's not even sticking for a split second, it instantly runs off. It, this water wants absolutely nothing to do with this product, it is so hydrophobic, creates those perfect beads, and then runs off. The Carpro is the same. It's very, very impressive. The water is just instantly rejected. It creates the beads. When we let go of the hose, it disappears. There's no sticking for even a split second in those two. I cannot see a difference. They're both looking great. I'm not gonna try and split them. They are both just looking fantastic. As for the Maguires, now we're starting to see some failure here. It's at seven month mark. And you can see the water sticking and it's pretty, pretty even everywhere. It's sort of doing it everywhere to an extent. Whereas on the Carpro, for example, as we move this around it, I don't think there's any obvious failure areas. There's no early signs of what's going to happen. Whereas on the Maguires, you can see that difference. And so since we got some large beads going on, let's just do the lift test again. There we go. Okay, and last up, slickness. Are any of the products, let's move them down a little bit. Are any of them still adding slickness? So. Basically, no. None of them feel slick anymore. So after seven months, any product that is super slick in my mind is going to lose that. And I'm gonna continue doing that in all my future tests, testing midway through or every couple of months um, because yeah, the Meguiar started off so insanely slick and it was a huge, benefit, a huge selling point to me for that product. I loved how slick it was on the wipe off and how slick it was for the first week or so. But after that, I didn't really check it again, to be honest. Um, if it was on my car and I was washing it every week, I'm sure I would continue to notice, but I don't know if it's something people generally check. And that's another benefit for products like this, um, the Platinum Potions Hydro Detailer or any other sort of ceramic um, quick detailer, which is what this is. 
Um, these, some of them, not all of them, add sleekness and they're going to protect the coating underneath, um, maybe even enhance the looks of the coating. I mean, for this car pro, you can see how dark that section is. Don't think it needs any more enhancing for darkness. Um, but yeah, something like this will not only make these products last a little bit longer, generally, you assume, um, but this, if we use every couple of weeks or a similar product, I'm just using this one because I just finished filming um, a video a series where I did a bunch of these type of products, ceramic quick detailers on a coating, um, and that one fared really well. It, after two weeks, was still nice and slick. Um, so I feel like, yeah, any benefits that a coating has as claiming as being a very slick ceramic coating, is that going to be a thing in six months time or will you just be using a topper anyway? So something like, you know, the CarPro C Quartz UK, the, the bigger brother version of this product, the C Quartz Lite, that's something that I've had on my cars multiple times. Um, it's still on there in the moment. Next time I'm gonna use a different coating, but it's not a very slick product. So what I do is I generally use something now that when I'm drying the car or whatever, will add a little bit of slickness. So that is a good benefit. So what I wanted to get at was, yeah, this Meguiar's is going to score well in my final um, results for the slickness category. But does it even really matter? Because it's not lasting. Now, I wish I had tested this after a month and two months. I'm testing it at seven months. But at that point, it's any benefits are gone. Whereas if you just use a coating that isn't very slick, but has you know, other benefits such as being very hydrophobic or has great looks or you know, whatever other benefit you want from your coating, ease of application, price, etc but it doesn't have slickness it is anti-slick then it doesn't matter because you can just use a topper product that is going to add the slickness for you while getting the benefits of the actual coating itself so yeah that is where i'm going to end this one for the month so we're getting some interesting results starting to happen the Meguiar's is kind of i think it will last a year um it'll definitely last a year in a garaged car like this has been seven months of just getting like absolutely smashed by the sun and the elements. And it's still hanging in there, but we're gonna see that start to fail, I think in the next two months, which will be nine month mark, 10 month mark, it'll start to. Um, and we're not doing any toppers, obviously on this, just trying to see how the products work by themselves. And then I think the Soft 99 probably got a three months in it left. So I think we'll get to a year for some of them, um, but it's getting interesting now. So yeah, any of these products I still like, um, I would, I would like to do a video soon on the Geon Can Coat by itself and the Soft 99. Um, but yeah, I've done videos on these two and I've used them multiple times now, really like them. So yeah, I'm gonna end it there. We'll come back in another month, but we do have plenty of other videos. I'm gonna start a new series soon. Uh, I've got a bunch of things in the plans. So yeah, make sure you guys stick around and subscribe if you haven't already for plenty more detailing videos like this. But with all that said, until next time, I will catch you guys later.